A local elementary school is changing the idea around physical education by adding innovative technology. New this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us in studio to tell us more about this new equipment. Good morning, Cameron. What can you tell us? Good morning, Josh. Heart River Elementary has technology that can project games and detect movement. It keeps students fit during their physical education class. Take a look. Tossing cornholes and hula hooping are not the only activities taking place during PE. Times have changed and with it, the advancement of technology. We have some students who just, they, they love physical education and, and we have some students who maybe don't enjoy it as much. The school recently added a new feature, the Lou Interactive Playground, which provides an immersive learning experience. <laughs> This gamification system really just intrigues our, those students and we feel like we're really now able to engage all of our kids in our gym. The machine provides a 19-inch display allowing students to play games from numerous applications. Everything is, is touch activated. The system detects balls hitting the wall and at the same time, students are solving math problems and even puzzles. Technology doesn't take away from the teaching, it adds to our teaching. Um, so um, it's a great cross-curricular tool as far as uh, reinforcing what they're learning in the classroom. Students' minds are able to function while having fun and learning at the same time. The kids love it so far. They, uh, they always want to know if we're doing a new game, what we're doing, how much time. They want every single small detail about how, what we're going to do on it that day. In PE, virtual reality is taken to another level. So have you gotten out and busted any moves? <laughs> I may have busted, busted a few moves, but nothing we're going to put on tape. <laughs> this fancy equipment cost $27,000. The Dickinson Public Schools Foundation provided a grant of $10,000, and a parent group helped raise the other $17,000. Well, that is, uh, that's a lot of money, but I mean, could you imagine uh, what gym class would have been like for us back then when we were kids? You know what? It would have been really cool. I mean, just thinking back on those days, you know, when we had uh, PE in the gym, well, back when I had PE, we didn't even have air conditioning. Yeah. And just now, you know, they have air conditioning, they have all this technology, so. We played dodgeball a lot, but uh, like they're learning so much at the same time in physical, you know, like when we were kids, physical education, a lot of it was like team building and, you know, organizational thinking and, and, and getting our muscles moving and the importance of exercise, but they're like learning like math and, and other complicated stuff. Yeah, this is a really cool, this is really cool technology they have. Yeah, they're gonna be way ahead of us. <laughs>